Hey guys, Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get free guns and also at the same time, rare weapons. Like, these aren't pea shooters we're getting here. These are some of the best weapons in the game, and you can get them for free sort of right at the start, which is also very helpful. So in order to get these three rare weapons, you're going to have to start the Gunslinger Challenge. And that starts by accepting a Stranger and Freak mission actually in uh, Valentine, which is one of the first cities you go to. You're going to look for a guy named Theodore. He is sitting at the bar in Keen's Saloon on the east side of Valentine. And basically, he's going to give you four photos as well as a camera. And it's going to trigger a multi-step assignment called the Noblest of Men and Women. And he basically gives you pictures of gunslingers that he wants to get quotes from. Uh, Emmett Granger, Billy Midnight, uh, Flacco Hernandez, and Black Bell. For this, we're going to be focusing on Billy Midnight, Emmett Granger, and Flacco Hernandez because killing them will give you their weapons, which they're very good because they belong to old school gunslingers. They're super unique and uh, they're some of the best weapons in the game. Now, it's really not hard to find these gunslingers at all. All you have to do is look at the back of the photos that this guy gives you and they'll tell you exactly where they are on the map. So for example, for Billy Midnight, I had to go to the Rhodes train station. That was super easy. I just asked the guy about Billy Midnight. I had to get on the train and it sort of gives you like a cut scene with each one of them, uh, a little bit of their backstory and maybe what they're doing. Uh, but essentially at the end of each encounter, you are going to have a duel with all these gunslingers. And this is kind of cool. Uh, and a duel is essentially where you guys both draw at the same time and it's basically if you can just get a more accurate dead eye shot before they can. And that's pretty much all it is to it. Every scenario is the exact same. This one just happens to occur on the top of a train. It's pretty straightforward. You just have to take a photo of the guy who dies and then you ultimately get his sidearm. Now, Midnight's pistol is unique because it's not a revolver like a lot of the guns we're going to be seeing. Uh, in this game, obviously, and it's really cool. Like it's gold plated as well. Uh, it's one of the more unique weapons in the game, in my opinion. You guys can see some of the stats here. It has about a, a bar and a half of damage. It has pretty good range at two bars, fire rate a little bit over three, reload at three, accuracy in about two and three fourths. And my condition was perfect because I ended up cleaning it. So that right there is Midnight's Pistol. Uh, again, it's one of the most unique ones in the game. It's also super rare because you have to get it from the Gunslinger. So right off the bat, it's free. The only thing I had to do was buy more ammo for it because I, I had never had a pistol like his. So that was incredibly easy. That's Midnight's Pistol. And by the way, it doesn't matter what order you go in. Uh, I just did Midnight's Pistol first because it sounded cool. And it turns out it was probably the coolest one of the bunch. So that's our first one right there. That is our rare weapon that we can get for free. Our second one is hunting Emmett Granger. And uh, Emmett Granger is a farmer now. And uh, this mission, you literally have to shovel you know what. So you actually go see Emmett and he's being really difficult about the quotes that you want for him. You literally, and I kid you not, have to pick up pig manure uh, with a pitchfork and you have to wheelbarrow it over to some location. So you really are putting in the hard time for this weapon. But then the old man decides to be difficult with you. He says he's not going to give you any of those stories. So you put a stick of dynamite in the poop and it rains all over him. And when he does that, he goes into a fit of rage and you get into a dual encounter. And uh, you have to be quick with this one because he's going to like throw a knife. You can see I barely got that shot off. He had the knife in his hand ready to go. And uh, then again, it's the same process. You take a picture and uh, you get his pistol. In this case, it's Granger's revolver. And this one is very, very cool. It sort of has like this bronzy brown sort of engraving all over the barrel and the handle. It looks awesome. Uh, its stats are still pretty good too. You can see damage is about one and a half bars. Range is two. Fire rate is three. Reload just under three. Same with accuracy and the condition was really good. The weapon was clean. So that's really cool. Again, my favorite part there, I think, is the handle. You got that like cream finish. I think it looks awesome. So that right there is Granger's Revolver. That is weapon number two. And once again, we got it for free. And uh, it's a really good weapon. 
So that's an awesome one right there. And the final one is going to be Flacco's Revolver. Now, Flacco's Revolver is probably the most difficult to get to just because it's located near where you started the game. At I think it's at Carnes Lake near Coulter. So you do have to climb up the mountain. You do have to deal with the snowy and the winter weather. And if you guys watch one of my treasure hunt videos, it's at the exact same location. It's basically a campsite. You have to look for Flacco Hernandez. Now, his bodyguard crew is going to come up to you if you threaten them. Uh, they'll actually like disarm, like they won't do anything, and they'll just let you go knock on the door. So I felt like that was the best route. And uh, basically, you just knock on the door. He comes outside, is not very happy, and uh, you immediately get into a duel. And uh, you kind of have to move quickly here because he's fast as well. You obviously have to take a picture of him, and then you get his weapon. And his weapon is really awesome. It's Flacco's Revolver. And you guys can see the stats here. Damage is about one and three fourths. Range is a little over two. Uh, fire rate is a little over three. Reload and accuracy are just under three bars and the condition is perfect. The weapon is clean. So that right there is our third and final free weapon, at least rare, that we are going to be looking at in this video today. If I come across more rare guns like this, I'll be sure to let you guys know. I think the best part about this entire thing is it's free. Uh, it, it's a way to get you know instant free guns, and uh, that's something that a lot of you guys can, can use in the beginning of the game. When A, you might not have a lot of money, and B, you might not have explored other areas to get uh, some of the weapons in the game. So that's all the info I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating on this video. That'd be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.